Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Oh, hey, we're on. Hey, check this out. You ever have one of these in your hand? Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Man, I love watching that thing. Oh, hey. Background music, high and dry, Def Leppard. Uh, yeah, that's where I started. And um, nothing like up on a racking board looking across the flatness of western Oklahoma latching drill pipe with a driller that's crazy. High and dry in the, I think it was a cassette back then, a Walkman, yeah. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Anyway, one more time, that is Def Leppard high and dry I'm going to give you oh sorry I'm going to give you a link below while you're headed down there at the end of the video give me a like a subscribe if you haven't and hit the notification bell anyway one more time Def Leppard high and dry so what's up with this bouncy bouncy well I don't like bouncing all over the place um, you know I build instruments that are highly unique in terms of how they're dressed out at the end but that doesn't mean that I like to waste time in the middle. And in fact, wasting time in the middle makes your task monotonous. You lose your creativity, you end up with product that looks like everybody else's product, and I don't want that. So, how can we save some time? Well, the last episode I told you about was about templates, how to make templates so you can cut stuff, do these drop downs. Uh, measure everything out ahead of time and glue it up fast instead of making individual measurements on each instrument or whatever. We are at the point where we are going to fret the fretboard. Now, you'll remember I've told you do the routing of the drop down first, get that all settled, get this part settled, and then when you fret this, you're going to put this on a fret press. Remember I gave you an episode fret press? Hit that one. Let me take a second here. So the eye cards aren't too close together so you don't ignore them anyway the other one about templates the one i just put out template tricks there's a card popping up now but anyway before i put this on the heel board underneath here where everything goes through the body and where this is cut down needs to be strengthened i'm going to fret this because if i put this on now and glue it it's going to be flopping all over the map when i get down to here and all that so we're fretting think about the steps of fretting I gave you an episode called fretting PF ups my last name starts with PF so that was a good way to put that um, and it gave you a lot of hints about this there will be an episode link right up there now so I've used three of my cards already and we haven't even got through high and dry anyway when you fret a fingerboard you put the wire in you pick up you tap the end of it, you pick up your fretting uh, cutters, and then you snip it off, and then you do it over and over, 20 some times or whatever, how many fret slots you have. Now, what if you were able to, instead of pick up, set down, pick up, set down, and you put all that together in a couple of steps, and it speeds up the process. That's what this is all about. So we're gonna have to build some things. Let's hit the bench. Okay, here we are. We got everything propped up. We got our fret press. Everything's ready to work. I got blocks of wood. Um, I'm certainly not gonna try to waste time here, but I'm gonna show you this is kind of a waste of time. So I have a witness here to watch what's going on. Now, I take a piece of fret wire. The end of its angle cut a little bit so it's not sticking out. I go to the first fret slot, I put it just a tad, like very bit of a tad there, I tap it, I take my good fret pliers and I nip it there and I grab this and then I take this, pull this out, flip my boards off and line that up. and press it in and look at that now while I'm standing here all impressed with myself I can get things back to set up the way they were so I can go to the second plier or the second fret slot and I can repeat the process over another 15 times because 
there are 17 fret slots on this guitar and we are really cruising along now got to move that don't forget that get me wrong this fret press is a lot better than beating them in but there we go there's got to be a better way to do this and there is okay so let's try something a little different we're going to start in the same place we're going to take the piece of fret wire we're going to put it in the next slot we're going to tap it. The reason I tap these is so they don't move and they end up with something too long or too short. I'm going to cut this just like I did the other one, but that normal process stops here. I'm going to take this piece of fret wire. I'm going to find a drill bit that's just a tad long or bigger than the fret wire. And then I'm going to measure the fret and put a piece of tape on it until the length of the drill bit sticking out from the tape is about the same as the length of the fret I just cut. You with me? Good. Now I want you to get two neckboard cutoffs, two, and I want them to be about that thick. So you're going to glue those together. Once those are glued together, you're going to leave enough room for you to drill a hole to hang this on the wall with the rest of your templates. But you're going to go down a little bit off the edge and make two rows of a hole here, a hole here, a hole here, a hole here. So this could be somewhere 16 inches long, 20 inches long, something like that. But you're going to end up with boards about that thick, glued together, and a double row of holes about that far apart. Next thing is I need you to get a little bit bigger piece of wood. Make sure it's thick enough to stand up. And that needs to be at least as long as your whole drill bit. You see that? So I can cut that off here. But get a block of wood and glue two of these together and cut them off nice and pretty and personalize them the way you want. And I'll catch up with you in a minute and we'll see what I did. All right, how'd y'all do? Well, here's my block. You know how I have to do things, right? I'll put that there and then... Look at this puppy. You see what I'm talking about now? See the holes? You got a, a hanger hole. Um, so, this is what I'm going to need to speed this up a ton. Let me do a little moving around here and I'll catch up with Okay, you. so the first thing we're going to do is take the drill bit that was measured out to be as deep as the fret is long, put the piece of flapper tape, and we're going to come to right here and drill down until the tape hits. like so. Now we're going to put a lot of holes in here but let's start with that one so we can get the general idea. Now while you were away I drilled six holes that deep. I know when the flapper starts pushing the sawdust off I'm in the right place. Now watch this. I'm going to take my same frat wire I'm going to put it in the hole then I'm going to nip it off there. I'm going to put one in there. I'm going to nip it off there and nip it off there and there. And that one, what do you know, just needs a little bit like so. Now, in that short amount of time, I have five fret wires. You see that? And that's where this comes in. One, two, three, four, five, and the sixth one I cut as a marker. Okay, now I'm just going to take them because they mysteriously are the right length, like so, and I'm still going to take my fret hammer and, and tap it a little bit so it doesn't pop out because I'm going to put all of them that I cut, which ideally would be 17. And I'm just going to lay them in here like so. And notice that I'm not running down the board and picking up the fretting hammer and the nippers and all that kind of thing. 
Anyway, I just load them all up and come over here. Move that out of the way a little bit. And I just drop the press down on each one like that. There you go. Now, if I had this thing full of frets, I would just walk down the whole thing and be done very quickly. But it's just that simple. Now, this thing will also come in handy. There's 20 some slots here, but it also comes in handy if you're pulling frets or I'll number this. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, all the way down. So I'll number my frets and put them in here and do that. But this is something you can buy. We just made it very quickly, but I think the lesson here was this thing. You just drop the fret wire in there and snip it off and it's easy money. All right, they are all in and I can just walk right down the fingerboard getting them all. There we go. Now I just go back to the belt sander knocking those down. If I got one that's a little long, well, it beats something that's a little bit short, but all I got to do is just take those pliers right there and make sure I'm good on all of them. And it's just that easy. All right, guys, there it is. Look at my fingers going up and down a little bit on the belt sander. So got some filing to do and some fret leveling. Remember I gave you an episode about how to do that with another piece of board and some sandpaper. I'll give you a link up there. But now it's time to put this heel board on here and finally glue it on. Of course, I'm going to dowel it and I'll support the neck um, and make it stronger. Let me use my last card and um, strengthening the neck. I'll give you that card up there that tells you how to do that. But I mean, this is easy money, cut and dried. Uh, spent a, uh, a lot of time on eBay now looking for matchbooks instead of doing redundant tasks. Putting frets in. One more time. Music is Def Leppard high and dry. I'll give you a link below. Don't forget to give me a like on your way down. And I will see you next time.